In the darkest of hours as the moon hid its face, Ramagupta, the emperor of the Gupta Empire, faced a dire choice. The mighty Saka king, having defeated him in battle, demanded the unthinkable, the hand of Ramagupta's beloved queen, Dhruvadevi, in exchange for sparing his life. Ramagupta, overwhelmed by fear and despair, reluctantly agreed to this perilous bargain. His decision, however, unleashed a tempest of fury within his own blood, none more so than his own brother, Chandragupta. Chandragupta, seething with righteous indignation at his brother's perceived cowardice, could not abide by this affront to honor and dignity. One fateful night, he hatched a plan that would test his cunning and courage to the limits, and the plan which got him popularity among his people, and eventually would make him the king of Gupta Empire, even though he had to commit an unforgivable crime to get the throne. Once upon a time, in the great Gupta Empire, a transition of power took place. The experienced and mighty Emperor Samudragupta, known as the Napoleon of India, had ruled the land with an iron fist. However, when he left the throne, the crown passed to a newly crowned and inexperienced Emperor, Ramagupta. During Samudragupta's reign, the formidable Sakas had extended their dominions over parts of modern-day Gujarat, Maharashtra and Madhya Pradesh. Sensing an opportunity with a relatively inexperienced ruler in charge, the Sakas decided to push the boundaries of their conquests deeper into Gupta territory. Ramagupta realized that he had to act swiftly to protect his empire from the encroaching Sakas. He knew he had to confront them in battle, and so a war between the Guptas and the Sakas erupted. Unfortunately, Ramagupta's inexperience showed on the battlefield, and he suffered a resounding defeat at the hands of the Sakas. Mighty Saka King, having defeated him in battle, demanded the unthinkable, the hand of Ramagupta's beloved queen, Dhruvadevi, in exchange for sparing his life. Ramagupta, overwhelmed by fear and despair, reluctantly agreed to this perilous bargain. Ramagupta's surrender shocked his people and tarnished his reputation. His brother, Chandragupta, was appalled by his siblings' cowardly conduct. Determined to restore the Gupta dynasty's honor, Chandragupta devised a daring plan. On a dark no moon night, Chandragupta dressed up as queen and his loyal followers pretended to be her maids. They sneaked into the Shaka camp, fooling the enemy completely. This daring plan unfolded with breathtaking success, as Chandragupta in his brilliant guise not only outwitted the Sakas, but also executed their ruler with a deadly precision that would echo through the annals of time. With the enemy vanquished and the Gupta Empire saved, Chandragupta returned triumphant to his homeland. However, the people's admiration for him grew, while Ramagupta's popularity reduced due to his cowardly move of surrendering queen. This newly formed popularity of Chandragupta posed a threat to Ramagupta's position as the reigning emperor. As Chandragupta's influence and following grew, Ramagupta started perceiving him as a challenge to his own authority. Due to this, tensions between the two brothers mounted. Chandragupta recognized the grave threat to his own life. To safeguard himself, he devised a shrewd plan, shrouding his true intentions in secrecy and sowing uncertainty throughout the empire. Ultimately, Chandragupta took the boldest step of all. He eliminated his elder brother, Ramagupta, forever altering the course of history and securing his own rule over the Gupta Empire. With Ramagupta out of the picture, Chandragupta ascended the throne, marrying his widowed sister-in-law, Dhruvadevi. He became Emperor Chandragupta II, who would later be known as Vikramaditya, and under his rule, the Gupta Empire would flourish and reach new heights of power and prosperity. If you're still here, don't forget to like and subscribe for more amazing stories like this.